In this video, we will study what proxy servers. So what are proxy servers? So uh, there is a client and there is a server. So what happens? There is a, here we have client and here we have server. And client sends a request. Let's say the client wants to browse to uh, some website abc.com. So the client will open uh, a browser on his system and type abc.com so this client machine pick one of these will have some IP address let's say it's uh, 10.20.30.40 so this request is sent to the server so let's say in a setting where proxy server is not there so client will send a request and the information about its IP address of the uh, originating machine is there so what will happen uh, anybody can know what certain client is browse browsing so this request will go on and it will go to this server and it will in turn send back the web page and which will be displayed on the client's machine so this is the typical setting so why do we need a proxy server here what purpose it solves so there are many purposes, many advantages of using a proxy server. One is that uh, we have, we will get some privacy. So here, this uh, client machine has this IP address 10, 20, 30, 40. This proxy server will have another IP address, let's say 20, 30, 40, 50. So this request will be routed through this proxy server to the original server. So this request will appear as if it was sent from this machine and the identity of this machine is the client is preserved this is just one type of uh, proxy server in some cases it may be uh, transparent also such that uh, this proxy server reveals itself as proxy server and also reveals the identity of the client from which the request originated so we will see uh, different types of that but uh, in the nutshell it can be placed anywhere it may be on the client machine itself so the proxy server may be running on the client machine itself or it can be running anywhere in this path from client machine till server so based on the location its uh, purpose and its type will change so uh, privacy was one reason why we use proxy server so first is privacy so without using proxy servers, the public IP address of the client will be visible to others. So certain people can know which websites you are visiting. So uh, this proxy server enables you to preserve privacy and the server will uh, retrieve the data on the behalf of the client. What is the another advantage? Another we have speed. So we can also call it caching because first time the client requested a page and this is the proxy server and it forwarded the request to server and it got back the response so if another uh, client or the same client request for the same page it may be available in the cache of proxy server so we will get speed benefit it will not even send the request to the server it will just return from the cache so or a speed so it will save bandwidth so it saves bandwidth also because it will not need to go out to the internet but it can return from the cache itself then we have uh, activity logging so uh, this means uh, controlling inbound and outbound traffic so some certain companies use proxy to keep track of what websites their employees are uh, looking at so a uh, proxy can server can also be configured to block some websites like facebook or maybe some other social media websites or certain other uh, websites may be blocked using this proxy server and next we have uh, another use which is uh, counter to this these uses so it will be opposite of that so proxy can be used for 
bypassing the firewall so on the one hand we were saying that company can configure the proxy to block certain sites and the other use is that the same thing can be used for bypassing the firewall or climbing over the great wall as uh, certain people call it so uh, let's say facebook is banned you cannot directly visit facebook from a machine in a certain network so what it will do it will send a request to a proxy so you can buy uh, uh, make an account on that proxy machine so you will send a request there and this will in turn send a request to the facebook.com so facebook.com is blocked within this internet but this a uh, proxy uh, machine whose ip address will be something else is not blocked so you can send a request there and this will in turn forward your request to facebook and uh, it will get the response and send back so it can also be used for blocking as well as bypassing the firewall so uh, these are some of the main advantages of using a proxy server now let's see what are the different types of proxy server so we have mainly focused here on uh, open proxy server what are called open proxy so it serves requests uh, on behalf of client and we had also seen different advantages of using this open proxy so it can be anonymous that is the proxy server does not reveal the identity of originating machine the client and it can be also transparent in which case it is possible to get the ip address of the original machine and there is another type of proxy servers which we have not discussed here is called reverse proxy so we had said that uh, the proxy server can reside anywhere starting from the client's machine all the way anywhere between this path till it reaches the server so in this case you can think of the proxy server in the case of reverse as lying in the same uh, network internal network of this server so it's lying here so we were talking about the cases where it was serving on behalf of client here it is processing request on the behalf of servers so that's why reverse proxy so it will take the request and uh, send or forward the request to different internal servers and then send the response back so it will look like the response has came from the original server so we will look into more detail of reverse proxy in some other lesson so i hope uh, we got an idea of uh, proxy servers so next is that what are the disadvantages of proxy server till now we have only talked about the positive sides what uh, advantages are there so there are some drawbacks like uh, one is that a proxy server cannot encrypt data so data can be intercepted by hacker or internet server provider provider or some other parties so this is where vpn comes into picture vpn means virtual private network so what is the advantage here so this vpn not only hides the ip address so it also hides the ip address or privacy like the proxy server but also encrypts the data being transferred over the internet so this was not possible in proxy server so all the activities like uh, browsing file transfer etc is encrypted and no logging is involved vpn provides a dedicated secure tunnel between two points on the internet so uh, i hope i i, I was able to make uh, the concept clear about the proxy server we will uh, study about more of these concepts in detail like uh, reverse proxy and vpn in some other lessons so see you in the next lesson